Hi everyone, welcome to another Woolen Yarn Box unboxing. So if you've never heard of a Woolen Yarn Box, let me tell you a little bit about it. So we came up with a subscription box that we wanted to be so different from any other subscription that you might get in the yarny world. And to do that, we wanted to take you to all the places you knit, crochet, and make all day. And so in order to have you feel like you're really in the place, we include a candle for scent, um, some extra goodies like a lanolin wool wash or a lanolin lotion bar. Uh, those have a great scent too, just like the place you're visiting. Um, everything is themed, so you get one of a kind yarn, Sam's Tiny Trinket Charms, and you're gonna get mystery extra goodies that fit the theme as well as a sewn goodie like a project bag or a notions pouch, maybe a needle case something along those lines, and you're going to get a fun pattern, whether it be for knit or crochet. So this month's box that we're unboxing today is going to be our April box, and it still has a little bit of time to go before uh, the pre-order ends. I think it ends around the 21st or 22nd, uh, so be sure to watch till the end and see if it's an adventure you'd like to take, and then subscribe at woolenwomanfiber.com today. So we are this month in April going back in time to the time of Camelot. Think uh, dresses, knights, uh, white horses, um, heroines that need rescuing from the tower, uh, stone huge buildings with those awesome looking towers with just the one window in them, and of course dragons. And so we're going to take you back to the time of Camelot with color, fiber, and fun goodies. And so without further ado, let me show you the colorway to start it all off. So a woolen Camelot is a gorgeous mixture of that beautiful sky blue that you would see outside your tower window, because after all, we are in the tower locked away safe from the dragon that flies just outside. It has fun pops of these really nice purples. And of course, some a little bit of lich and green in there. We always have that mossy overgrowth in fairy tales that you think of on the stone buildings and on the tower. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. This one here is on our 8020 base superwash merino nylon. Uh, we do offer a thicker base uh, for those that might like one, like crocheters. And so this one is actually on our non superwash worsted base want to see what that looks like. I think it's absolutely stunning in both. Uh, we also offer DK, but just those little pops of speckles are really gorgeous. Even on the non-superwash, they are a little more vibrant on the superwash base. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I guess I'll show you the pattern since I'm wearing it in my in my hair. Uh, so we are offering a knit and a crochet pattern. We always do with our boxes now. And so the knit pattern for this month is the Cottage Hair Accessories by Wool and Pine, because obviously you can't be a proper princess in a tower without tying your hair back in a beautiful ribbon. Uh, so I have one of them here in my hair. And so it comes with like a variety of different ones that you can knit. And so this one's like a little bit longer of a little sash and a bow. And so I've kind of brought this up and tied it in my hair. There's also um, a smaller hair ribbon bow. And we've had our test knitter, Rachel, Creative Yarnaholic. She's whipped all these little goodies up. There are ribbons, bows. There are scrunchies. If you get like an elastic, you can knit scrunchies with these patterns and she's sort of mixed the main color and striped it with the mini for this one. She's done a solid main color on this one. Look how those speckles come up. And these are just really fun knits. Plus we're getting into the warmer weather. You're going to want to tie your hair back. You can also make these adorable little bows and you can get hardware to go on back of these if you have like Amazon or something. Just um, look up like hair bow uh, clip accessory hardware. And you could actually do little hair bows. Or I think you could tie this up if you want to do um, the little sash that you also might knit. You could probably tie 
um, with this in the middle and do like a bow on the front of it. Or a little bit of a bobby pin in the back because it has this little middle here. You could do a bobby pin and put this right in your hair as a hair bow. I think it'd be adorable if you kind of swept your hair in a ponytail and had a little, this sash, either that one or the smaller one hanging in your hair. But yeah, Cottage Hair Accessories by Wool and Pine. There's like a variety that you can knit out of there. If you're a crocheter and you got the thicker yarn, you would be crocheting a potted plant holder by a crocheted simplicity. How cool is this? Like a little sweater for your vase. My flowers have just about seen their end yet, but they're still hanging on a little bit, but I put this little vase cover on it. I just think it's so cute. It has a little heart and it is really beautiful for the spring. I think these colors really bring out like an earth tone, nice springy vibe. So yeah, if you're wanting to spruce up the tower, this is definitely the way to do it. You could set this in the tower window while you await saving from the dragon. And you can of course knit or crochet, just stitch away the days until somebody comes on horseback to come get you. So fun theme, I think, because I just think, honestly, like we know the fairy tales where like um, you're locked away in a tower and what better way to even though it's frightening, what better way to stitch away the days waiting your savior. And I think that this is a great way to do it. Little hair ties, scrunchies. And then of course, you're going to want to keep your tower clean. And so we have some extra goodies for that. I can't wait to show you. But I'll first show you this little project bag. Actually, this is a pretty good size one this, this month. Um, we went with like a traditional split bag, but it is pretty hefty. You could probably fit a small shawl in this, to be honest. It's got a cotton canvas bottom, so this is really sturdy and will stand up on while you knit out of it. Uh, a really nice zipper, and then the inside has like a nice pink to it. It has a nice hefty handle if you want to knit and walk. And then, of course, it would not be complete without a dragon. And so Sammy has brought you the dragon. And here he is, the adorable, adorable little dragon. He's got little toe beans, which I think are absolutely so, so cute. I don't know if you would need saving from this dragon. I feel like this one you might make friends with, but there's your little dragon. He's got his little wings, and then he's flying just outside in the clouds. So Sammy gave this adorable little sparkly cloud with a little raindrop in it. These are really nice because she gives these like lever backs. So you can either slip these onto your needle as like uh, stitch markers or you can do um, project holder or uh, progress keepers and you can actually clip that onto a stitch. It actually opens. So really nice versatile hardware and Sammy is bringing all the little dragon vibes with this. You even have your dragon on your bag and it's got this really nice spring vibe for April. And so extra goodies, I was saying you get to keep your tower clean. So in a woolen yarn box, if you've kind of heard of us before, you know we give an eight ounce candle and then we either do a wool wash or a lanolin lotion bar. And so for this month, you're going to get a wool wash bar. And so it always has a smell like the place you're visiting. This one's going to be very, very like ocean side, um, sort of like maybe a little hint of floral or citrus um, because you would, I picture the castle on the coast. I don't know. So that's what this wool wash will be. And we decorate them differently every time. So it might be a bar, it might be a flower, uh, whatever kind of fits the theme. You get an eight ounce soy wax candle with your full box as well. Same thing with the soap or the lanolin and lotion bar. Those are with full boxes. The basic box is non-scented, so that takes the, those out of the box. But your soy wax candle comes in a really nice tin, and it's always decorated different, so you'll either have like a different colored candle. Sometimes it'll be pure white. Uh, sometimes it'll have little sprinkle stuff on the top. It always varies, but it always has a cotton wick that burns clean. It's always a soy wax candle, and it smells amazing, like the coast. And so to keep your tower clean, 
we've given you some cool extra goodies this month. The first one being a Swedish dishcloth. And so Swedish cleaning cloths can be reused for months. And so if you treat it right. And so we will give you directions on how to use it and clean it. And you basically wet this and then clean like you normally would. And then when you're done, you would soak it in something like a, a mild dish soap or you can throw it in the washer on a gentle cycle and then hang it dry and it's reusable for quite a few months that way. You don't want to throw it in the dryer. It won't last as long as if you throw it in the dryer. Um, so definitely want to hang it to dry. So to hang your cloth to dry, we are giving you these adorable little clothes pins. They are adorably decorated for your springtime goodies. And these would be good to hang your cloth, of course, in the tower window if you'd like to hang it to dry. But they're also really good for end minders. So if you want to, you could clip it on your project. Let's see if I can find a little end here. You can clip it on your project to mind your end. So like if you have a ball of yarn, I have one here. I could clip the end to mind my ends. And you could really sweep this up if you want and clip it like once or twice. And then if this goes in your project bag, it will not uh, unravel. And so you could also do this on an actual project if you have some ends you wanna clip out of the way. So they're good for that as well. We'll give you a couple of those. And then for your soap, we're gonna give you a soap dish. And so your soap sits right on top of the little soap dish and it keeps it nice and dry. Uh, and it keeps your soap uh, really good texture on the bottom so it doesn't get like uh, soggy from sitting on the ground in the wet and this helps keep it off of the ground. So really nice, it'll keep your tower spick and span. And then like I said, you get your project and you get to smell your candle. You can light your candle and it smells like the place you're visiting. Uh, and then you can knit up either your adorable little accessories or you can crochet your amazing little, your accessories by Wool and Pine and your amazing little uh, planted pot holder by Crocheted Simplicity, if you're a crocheter. And then when you're done your project, you can block it using your amazing wool wash that we've given you. Of course, store that on your soap dish. You have end miners if you need them for your projects or otherwise, or to hang your cleaning cloth in the window. And it is a complete trip to Camelot when you clip on your little dragon and your little cloud because he's flying high out there right outside the window. So this box is absolutely amazing. We're really loving, loving that we're traveling back in time. It's been some time since the woolen women have traveled. We've done um, a time travel series like way back when on our live events, maybe last year or the year before. And so we're excited to take you back in time to the time of Camelot. So for a woolen yarn box, if you're a current subscriber or even if you're a new subscriber, uh, please use the hashtag woolen yarn box. We would love to see your unboxings. We would love to see your whips uh, and what you think of your brand new woolen adventures. Um, and then of course, include your goodies. We want to see how you use them and make use of your Swedish dish cloth and things like that and how you burn your candle and how you like all your stuff. Um, yeah. And so, and also tag woolen pine and a crocheted simplicity. I'm sure they would love to see what you create and how you do, uh, their amazing designs. And we will see you for another adventure next month. If you'd like to subscribe, we have month-to-month um, -month subscriptions and you get 5% off when you subscribe for a monthly subscription. You get 8% off if you subscribe for a three-month subscription, which is when you pay for all three months of a woolen yarn box. And then it renews every three months. So it's like a quarterly option and you get an 8% discount for that. Uh, if you are a crocheter, please leave a note in your order that you are a crocheter and if you don't specify your base, we will give you the base that fits the pattern that month. Or if you want a specific base like DK or worsted or non-superwash worsted or even bulky, although I will tell you most patterns are going to be worsted or DK, um, leave that in the notes as well. So check that out. It's all on woolenwomenfiber.com. Get on our email list if you don't want to miss a thing. 
We have reveals each month around the 7th of the month, and we're always putting out brand new videos for the unboxing. So hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you're in the know about brand new videos that come out so you don't miss a thing with a woolen yarn box and all the woolen adventures you'll take to places you knit, crochet, and make all day. Subscribe today on woolenwomenfiber.com, and we'll see you next month for another one. Bye!